I'm going to be as unpolitically correct as I possibly can, right? <laughs> um, you, this may have been true back in the 80s when historically black colleges had nothing, uh, nothing. You know what I'm saying? Had had a weight room that was looked like somebody's garage and all these kind of things, right? We're talking about a not only a a coach that that has changed the culture in in historically black colleges. Um, we're talking about we talking about Deion Sanders, probably the best corner to ever play the game in the NFL. Brother. If any if anybody anybody has some pool, and I'm talking about any coach in college football. Nick Saban, any of them, if any, any, none of them can walk into an NFL locker room or walk into a general manager's office or an owner's office of any team in the NFL and sell their kid like Deion Sanders can. Nobody can. And I don't care how you try to look at it, how you try to sell it, how you try to twist it. Deion is the best thing that has ever happened to a coaching staff in a historically black college. Now, okay. here, here's the thing that scares me the most. Right, Dion is pulling all of these kids. He, he he this is the first one. Right, his son was the first five star to come to, uh, to to come to Jackson State. Now you have this kid that's coming as a five star. Who knows where this kid is gonna play? My guess is that he's probably gonna play corner because Dion gonna try to mold him after himself, and then he's gonna mm -hmm. try to you know he's gonna get him to be a first round draft pick. That's that's my yeah. that's my thought process. No, um, that's no, no. That's that should be his thought process too. Yes, it should be. It should be. <laughs> and I think, and I think that's what's going to happen because this kid. I don't know if you've ever watched any highlights of him. Or anything. This kid yeah, can flat out ball. Yeah, he can yeah. ball. He can ball on both sides of the of the, of the ball. Um, the thing about it is, is that there is going to be a school that is going to offer him a god awful amount of money, and it's not going to be an HBCU. It's not. And Dion is going to have a decision to make. And wherever he goes, those kids are going to follow. So this may be something that's just happening right now, but there is going to be a school because Florida State is struggling. They're on a yeah. struggle bus. Well, um, let's, let, let's, let's, let's finish it up. I'm a, I got the sound, but I'm going to play it. Um, yeah, play it. And then, uh, and then finish, finish your thought, and then we'll let Lamar go. Jackson State and try and build a historically black uh, college and university in, into a power. But the reality is he wanted the TCU job. He is interviewed for just about every job, especially the ones in the state of Texas they would like to get. And he may well become the next head coach at Florida State, which time he would probably take Travis Hunter with him. Which, of course, brings us to the whole idea of when coaches get a big salary and 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 the the you you get writers and fans like why don't the, the kids deserve it like because players follow the coaches more than the school which is in fact a mistake like look if you just take emotions out of it or the desire for people to see hbcus succeed and you just deal with actual logic right you have a kid who's from georgia could go to georgia incredible top 25 public institution or go to Florida state, which is a top 50 public institution, right? Both are amazing schools. Both have gigantic alumni bases. Both are historically significant football programs, but he chose Deion Sanders. And look, if you're a cornerback and Deion Sanders is easily the greatest cover corner of all time, I, I get that. I understand that, but you're signing up to play against a far inferior schedule with far inferior facilities. And like, look, part of the deal is if the kid is really, really, really that good, right? He's 6'1", 165. You know, he's obviously over his next three or four years, he's going to have to put on, you know, 30 some odd pounds of muscle. And, you know, with the training of Deion saying, well, like, why couldn't he be a great player? There's no reason he couldn't be. But you, you pick your university on all of these factors, and none of them outside of Deion Sanders are a factor that would make you want to choose Jackson State over Florida State, right? It is it's it's laughable to him that a kid would even think about choosing a HBCU 
when they have an opportunity to go that's elsewhere. Just a, that's just the perfect example of somebody that just don't understand it. They just don't yeah. get it. Well, don't. here's the thing. He he has some points because if Dion transfers and goes to Florida State, Travis Hunter is going with it. No, don't no doubt. That's a point. But my thing is, is yes, he chose Deion Sanders, but my thing is, is what Deion Sanders is building will mirror that point of Florida State. And I it, hope so. I but hope my so. thing, but my thing is that is that's that's a hope right now because okay. somebody is Florida State is his alumni. That's where he went to school, right? All those, all the things that he's saying right now, all those have to do with Deion Sanders. Because Deion right. Sanders is a proud Florida State alumni, right? Okay. He got Florida, he got Florida State shit everywhere, right? Yeah. He was wearing Florida State stuff before he got this Jackson State job, right? Now, if Florida State comes and says, "Hey, we're gonna offer you ten years, one hundred and fifty million to come be our coach," do you think Deion is going? That's it, I, I don't know. That's don't exactly know. what I'm saying. So he has a point, but but he wait, does. wait, but wait. If if Dion if Dion goes to another what school, up, how does this how how does this how does this make this decision for this kid a bad decision that he can just follow Dion? He's gonna have to transfer. He'll have to enter the transfer protocol. So so be it. right now and right now and right now the transfer protocol is so easy to get into. It is. It, right. They it just is, say I'm gone and that's it. It's, and, it's and, I, and, I, and I like that. And D, and and Dabo Swinney had an issue with that. But this but this is my thing, Corey Lamarzo. This is my thing. I know he may have or made some valid points on why uh, he think this is a bad idea for this kid. However, common sense tells us. That's not his motivation on why he's against the move. His motivation about it is he just don't think or he just don't understand why uh, black people want to prop up HBCUs and make them equal or better to PWIs. He just don't get it. Why, why, why would you even do that? And, and this, and this is my point. this is my thing. Yes, you can point out that the facilities are, are, are not matched, but how can it mm -hmm. ever match that if we keep sending our talent elsewhere? Yeah, elsewhere. So this, so uh, so so yes, uh, forty so years down the line, so this move this move can look like Caesar from the Planet of the Apes. Some somebody somebody got to be the first one to say no before everyone else starts speaking it's not, proper listen, English. It's <laughs> not it, that that has nothing to do with the player. That has to do with the coach. Deion Sanders is gonna have to stay and help build it, and other other coaches are gonna have and to I hope, come and too. I, and I hope he does. And I hope so that does. has it has nothing to do with the kid. It has nothing to do with the kid. On, on, on these from kids whose perspective from Doug Gottlieb's the, it, perspective. Well, I mean, no, I, I'm talking about from the from the real perspective. I don't give a damn about what Doug Gottlieb thinks about it. I really don't care because I understand. But well, with my call. but let me take this ahead. call. Go ahead, Gary Sports K. What's going on, brother? Hey, Gary. what's going on, man? What's, man? Up, what's man? up, Gary? What's happening, Gary? How y'all doing? <laughs> we good. We good. Good, man. It's good. It's good to see you guys. Yeah. Hey, hey thanks for this hat, you. man. You see this hat I'm wearing, right? I see it looking good on you, bro. <laughs> man, you looking cleaner than the board of health. <laughs> <laughs> what's, Boy, what's, what's your thought? What's your thoughts on the topic? Man, you know I had to comment on this. Oh, man. Look, yeah. Uh, number one, uh, I'm gonna go back. You know, I I love the history of things, and I'm gonna go back to the history of it. Uh, okay. You know, everybody's talking about, and I've been listening to people talk about. Or oh, uh, he's not going to have the amenities that he would have at the bigger schools, and they're not going to be playing the competition that he would be playing, and all this kind of stuff. He's not going to get the TV time and stuff. But um, if you remember before during segregation, and this is one of the reasons why HBCUs are so successful uh, back in the day, because they had a lot of talent out there. We, we fail to forget that Jerry Rice. Uh, Jackson State's own Walter Payton, uh, you know, uh, John Stallworth, Alabama State. We go back to a lot of these black colleges that were when segregation was kind of uh, running everything. These guys were coming out of that. So you, people can't tell me that you're not going to get the talent out of these things. It's proven. we got Hall of Famers, the you know, Pro Football Hall of Famers full of HBCU uh, players. Mm hmm so we know that this 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 Bingo. talent can come. I be honest with you, 
I like my the, I, I like my the favorite, trend. My favorite and quarterback is from I HBC. That more, more Steve the NFL players like Eddie George did. Uh, now they're talking about the coach that used to coach Cleveland. Hugh, uh, Hugh, Hugh, Hugh Jackson. Hugh Jackson. Hugh Jackson. Hugh Jackson. Hugh Jackson. Four of them come over. Because yes. the only thing that I, I see that is a down, maybe a downfall, is that there's not a chance to play for a national title. But you look at what Dion did this year. He bought recognition uh, to Jackson State and to HBCU football. Oh, Jackson State's and, I mean, been all over. That, you. Jackson I mean, State is all that, over man, ESPN. Was yeah. Yeah. Well, there was fifty thousand people at the game. It was. Yeah, it was. A few games yeah. like that. Yeah. So you know, uh, now I, I don't know if the money helped this kid. You know, somewhat too. Uh, I'm not saying it didn't. I'm not saying it did. But my point is, is that who would not want to be coached by Deion Sanders? Especially and when you play corner. Exactly. And that's, <laughs> Thank you. You play Thank corner. You. You're going to be coached <laughs> by the best. And the guy, Deion, Deion's a smart dude, man. Deion is mm -hmm. smart, man. And everybody, everybody, everybody seems to forget, you know, this guy, you know, Florida State probably, they probably eating crow now. They wish they would have went on and took mm -hmm. him. But my point is, Deion's building yeah. something there. I don't think he's going to leave for a while, man. I Deion's hope not. building something. I and I don't not. think it's just there at Jackson State. I think it's there for the whole SWAC. Yeah. He's oh. building the SWAC up. And yeah, once, because, because, once, because once, uh, once he gets the notoriety and everything, SWAC is doing great. <coughs> maybe he'll leave there, I'm thinking. Man, he can have but that thing. Right now. He can have that thing rocking. If he stay, he, he don't have to go to no big school. If he stay, we, he can have yeah. his own uh, our own little world rocking with with exactly, HBCUs again, man. and them bands and them homecomings. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, exactly. fir the first game of the season was against Fam. You Fam, you known for having some decent football teams and oh, a and yeah. a crazy band. Like, yeah. dude, we got yeah. that thing rocking again. And who who don't like a little seasoning on their chicken? So <laughs> I mean, it, 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 it won't be long before that junk on TV. I mean, do, huh. do, would you would you would you rather watch? Uh, 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 Deion Sanders coach football team with a couple of uh five stars against another good HBCU and then a beast halftime show. Yeah, no, like, I mean, I want to watch, I want to, I want, I want, I want them, I want them to build, I want them to build programs full of five star kids and go and battle these other universities and beat them. Bigger than what we all think it's gonna be. I hope so. I really, that's what I want. This is something that's getting really, really big now. I hope so. so. My whole thing is, is that hey, let's uh, let's let's keep keep going on this because this has been going on for a long time. Because, like I said before, segregation after segregation, these bigger schools came along and picked all plucked all the good talent out of the HCBUs. Right, right. And that was a, that was a thing that really that bothered me when I look back on their history. You know, yeah. because you had, dude, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I think it's a great thing. There's more par parity in college football now than ever before. And another thing, too, and I'll close with this. They talk about Lamar Jacksons and all these guys that's coming in with this new style of playing quarterback. This is where it all began at. Yeah. This is where it all began at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look, it's going to be true. Coming back, it's coming back to the forefront. The potential, so the potential. Either, either go with it or get run over. Yeah, the potential for this thing, what Dion started, and what these other coaches, like you said, Eddie George and Hugh Jackson, what, what, what they're doing, the initiative they're doing, is the beginning of something that can be potentially huge. And I know for a fact Dion Sanders is going to get a huge contract offer because they don't need this momentum to keep continue to go. They need to break it up right now. Right, because yeah. what they can stand to lose is a whole, is millions and millions of dollars, including the the, the five star athletes. They, yeah. they they can they can lose it, and then once that thing start really rolling, just just imagine Beyonce just coming and doing a free concert for HBCU. Just I'm I'm coming I'm coming at halftime. It's free, well, man. Man, sometimes hey, pro bono. I'm, I'm gonna say this, man, <laughs> and I'm on the phone, man. I think it's this is. This could be something good because this is going to draw more more African Americans closer together. Yeah, and, and I, I really mean that. I yeah. really mean that. We that unity, that power that we that we talk about. Yeah. This can do it. So uh, I'm all for it, guys. Always good talking with you guys. Y'all take care, and we'll be talking. Merry Christmas. All right, thank you. Okay, baby. Hey, man. Sometimes when you talk, man. 
and you say something that's on point, boy, this shit's like mind blowing. But like, Jesus, stop, stop. No, 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 no. I, I'm gonna give my brother my fly. I'm gonna give my brother his flowers when stop. I can because he, <laughs> no, because like people gotta understand like. They're gonna throw so much money year in and year out at Dion and say, like, bro, we can't have you messing up our money. Yeah. That's, yes. that, they, they're gonna test his his actual yes. uh willpower to resist to that big ass check. They they're gonna they're gonna do all kind of under the hand table stuff. They're gonna try to poke holes in his in his plan and his program. The yeah. microscope is gonna be big on him. So it's it in, it's imperative that not just Jackson State the University, but Jackson, the city in Mississippi, the gotta people around the nation, they gotta support this brother because yeah. they 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 gonna need to get them boys graduated. They're gonna need them to keep them out of trouble. Cause I'm yeah. telling you, they're waiting for anything negative at all. 